Hello friendlies and welcome to part 19 of my Demon Hunter series. Jumping right in, remember to wear proper safety equipment when working with power tools. Pop quiz, what safety item am I missing here? So now I am using my Dremel tool to smooth out the warbler. I worked with the warbler a lot to get it pretty even, but the Dremel tool is a nice extra touch. I'm not concerned with the backside of the armor because it will be facing my leg and also covered with fabric. Part of this universe, we are in this universe, but perhaps more important. Moving right along, I'm not going to spend too much time on this part because I have covered it before. I just paint on five to six layers of wood glue over the warbler to act as a primer for the paint, and it will help smooth out the armor even more. Because. Once the final layer of wood glue is dry, use fine sandpaper to lightly sand the wood glue. These steps all help the armor look more realistic for metal. So now I'm laying down the first base color, but it's about here that I realized I forgot a pretty crucial step. I didn't add battle damage. Fortunately, wood glue is pretty flexible. I just have to be a little careful when heating everything up. So I heat up each spot where I want battle damage to be and carve it in. Then just touch up the areas that we heated with more wood glue, then we can continue adding our base colors. Similar to the last armor piece I worked on, I'm using three basic base colors. The exciting painting should happen next week, so look forward to that! Thanks so much for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!